For most pilots, a story of a missing plane usually only has one outcome. You're hopeful, but you know, the reality is, is that it's pretty rough out there. When Brandon Campbell heard his friend spotted an old crash site while snowmobiling in Pemberton Sunday, something clicked. It all kind of added up, so yeah, within within probably 20 minutes we were in the air with that person that took the picture and and we were on our way. The beginning of an amazing story that led search and rescue crews to this ice field. On it, the 1963 Beechcraft Musketeer so many had been looking for since it did not return after a scheduled day trip. He was able to direct me right to it. So and once uh, once we got over the mountains there in the in the valley at the bottom of the glacier, there was uh, it was right there. The plane forced to make a hard landing. The owner and pilot Zbigniew Jeninyakovich and two other passengers stranded overnight. No working emergency locator, transmitter, or cell phones to call for help. Within about 20 minutes, we were able to get confirmation that all three uh, people on board were found safe, a bit dehydrated, but generally, uh, all things considering, um, in, in, in very good shape. For pilots at Pitt Meadows Airport, where the plane is based, to see the trio arrive safely, a deep relief. They refused medical attention. They seemed uh, laughing and giggling, and uh, they were checked over in the ambulance briefly. Uh, walked around and drove off. For the fellow pilot that helped change the plot line of this search. You get a little choked up and you just, you know, there's three people that are going to sleep in their own beds tonight and that's, it's definitely a feel-good story, so. Wow, what an incredible ending to this story. John joins us now from the Pitt Meadows Airport with more on this. And John, you've actually spoken with the family members of one of the people who was on board. Yeah, we contacted the family of the pilot who say all three are happy to be home safe and sound, but they really are starting to feel tired from this entire ordeal. But they wanted to take the time out to say thank you to the search and rescue teams and everyone else involved, calling them true heroes. But once again, to highlight the luck involved in this, uh, sources are telling us if that snowmobiler had not spotted that plane, they could have easily been out there another three to four days. Back to you guys. All right, a very fortunate series of events. John, thank you.